the Roller Fleet flagship. Um, which, is a, which is an iconic role, it's as much symbolic as anything else. Um, there's a sadness to handing it over, it was certainly something the ship's company uh, enjoyed and, and really were behind. Um, but in many ways actually we hand it over with a, a sense of, of pride as well. We've done a great job as the fleet flagship. Um, in her first trip away, HMS Albion's the fleet flagship went out to Southeast Asia and operated in South China Seas, went as far as Japan. But as a measure of how pleased we are to hand it over, where we went out as a single ship, 300 people, um, we hand it over to Queen Elizabeth, who deploys this year with 10 warship, uh, carrier strike group, UK lead. You know, we went as a, a singleton ship. Uh, Queen Elizabeth goes in a task group of 10 ships. Where we went with 300 people, they're going with 3,000. The blend of RAF, Royal Navy, F-35s, US Marine Corps F-35s. I mean, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a great moment for the Royal Navy and, and great moment for Britain that you know, we hand over at this time and the carrier gets to, uh, to deploy on her inaugural uh, operational deployment. So it's, it, there's a sense of pride in it as well. We remain the UK's high readiness uh, amphibious warship um, and NATO's amphibious uh, capability as well. Um, and so uh, our, we've been in maintenance for the last couple of months. Um, our focus is getting back out to sea in the next couple of weeks, regenerating that capability, making sure we're absolutely ready to go. Um, and then we've got an interesting program over the next couple of months, um, heading up um, probably into the, uh, the Norwegian Sea, into the Baltic, operating with uh, our allies and partners, both NATO uh, and other nations as well. So there's a really there's a really interesting couple of months, very much focused on continuing the journey of littoral strike and, and everything that we do now will be a blend of traditional amphibious warfare but with experimentation and looking at the future of littoral strike and the Royal Marines. We've been really careful, been quite cautious. The ship's company obviously uh, came back to the UK having been in a safe bubble and so actually a lot of their practices are really well developed um, and, and what we've done is we've made sure that we followed the government guidance while we've been here in, in port during the, these periods we've worked really closely with our industry partners as well to make sure that we can support them and, and it's, a, it's a really that's a really strong relationship um, what we've done is we'll head back to sea we've had a test of everyone in the ship's company we'll do that again before we go back to sea and while we're at sea we'll maintain all the sort of same social distance practices that the rest of the country are doing um, and in the hope that maybe later on in the year when the vaccines are, are in i'm hoping that we can show off uh, hms albion around the uk a bit more some regional engagement would be really nice it'd be nice to to fly the flag around the uk into uk ports